So before I do my big ranking of all the Arrowverse shows, including all the current shows and whatnot, live action shows, not the web series and whatnot, I want to do the crossover ranking. Now there are six main crossovers. I'm including World's Finest and Duet crossovers so far in the Arrowverse. Don't know if they're gonna do any more this season because of COVID. It affects the timeline. I'm sure Batwoman. I think Batwoman is ahead of schedule and they like to like shoot these crossovers at the same time. So I don't know if they're gonna do one. They might do one later in the season, but who knows? But either way, it's gonna rank all eight current Arrowverse crossovers. So at number eight is World's Finest. Oh. the supergirl episode episode one or season one episode 18 this is just basically a supergirl episode with flashing throughout the, the episode cool seeing him coming in saving kara and then like them interacting with each other them having that little run at, at the end and discovering the do and whatnot that was a lot of cool stuff when explaining the multiverse and all that stuff was fun but it was still very like most of it was a supergirl centric episode the only good thing is the barry stuff everything else is okay barry gets his ass kicked obviously because it's a different earth it's okay it's like good if you care about it which i do but it's not it's nothing special it's okay. Number seven is Heroes Joined Forces. the show that would set up legends of tomorrow i will say they didn't waste it but they definitely wasted the first half material of legends i don't think they needed a crossover for it but either way vandal savage he's cool i guess him destroying this earth or central city i think and barry have to go back in time because that also happened in season one this ha will happen now in season two so it's a cool little thing for barry but then they do the whole william thing with it is what it is and then felicity again she gets mad at him for keeping away the truth even though this happened a while ago she should have been supportive me like, okay that's a long time ago it's okay but instead they rather in a very pretentious way i don't know who wrote it we all know who but like you know i don't think anyone wanted to see this this one a fun crossover and it was on a farm from and hawkeye that's cool and then the hawk people they're i should see this they're fine even for season legends it's not the best i will say but it's a good crossover kit but with the whole bullying thing and all the city thing and the hawk people not being as interesting as they are that's all the negatives the good positive is vandal savage going back in time uh, malcolm merlin being in there all the heroes most of them being together i was all cool it's just good all right from this point on from Heroes Drone Forces and up, these are good crossovers that I like. But at number seven is Heroes Drone Forces. Number six is Flash versus Arrow. Or the flash was there the very first crossover the reason why it's at number six is because the arrow and flash episode for this they're basically flash and arrow episodes just with flash and arrow characters being in each other shows man that was hard to say there is a fight between the two that was cool like Barry being a hothead because of the meta vision oh, not meta vision the meta human making people angry that was a cool little fight there here and there the whole arrow shooting scene where he shoots arrow kill really fast that was really cool you know oliver queen being the way he is training i guess that scene training him that was a little cool as well seeing like cisco and caitlin interacting with diggle and felicity felicity and going over to flash it's cool you see this for the first time it's awesome upon like we watching and thinking about it it's you know it's fine it's not amazing you know it's definitely the future crossovers are actual crossovers where flash is still very centric flash arrow is very still arrow centric you know which it's kind of it's not a problem it's definitely like okay crossover eh, they do much more still a good crossover number five is elsewhere i am no longer inmate four five eight seven i am once more the green arrow it is a crossover but it's definitely like there's a reason why there's only three episodes of this crossover because they didn't need the legends they introduced batwoman and then they introduced the whole barry being green arrow and oliver being flash which is great a lot of fun stuff but they definitely stretch out like i don't think supergirl needed to be there aside from the smallville opening to uh smallville kansas <laughs> which is really awesome i don't think supergirl needed to be there i don't know why she was there it definitely felt less crossover especially from the previous crossover a uh, crisis of x i get why i like it it's good but it, for me it just doesn't, it doesn't have much there for me it, maybe this is me but it just doesn't have much there for me see it's awesome but it's just the others are better basically so sorry it's at number five number four is do it now i get it if people don't like this crossover it's very glee like reunion episode if you're a glee fan and like i liked it i really liked it because it's a musical i don't mind musicals i get it if you don't like it it puts a stop to everything just to have a glee reunion and have a wally progression story which they use for this episode i did not mind it music meister guy whatever he's whatever to be honest he's just kind of there being like i'm here to get everyone together let's go see wally and marshall manager fighting against him like the fact that they actually pull this off is kind of still kind of shocking to me it would have conflicting like shooting reports 
it's like it would have been really like tight really hard to do this episode so it's part of the reason why we don't get any of these anymore not like duet but like mini crossovers episodes for like specific show crossovers after the that big crossover there's a reason why they don't do, these don't happen anymore because because of time and like scheduling so i very much very like this that's a number four number three is invasion <laughs> alien invasion which was it's really good these top three are really good i consider these like really good crossovers for a while i feel like most of the fans were like i'm just waiting for the crossover and i may or may not watch the seasons but which i get because some of the seasons around this time wasn't the best but either way the invasion alien invasion because of the creation of flashpoint which i guess you could say they expand a flashpoint to one episode of flash and then the big crossover which is dumb but either way they use the flashpoint as sort of the reason as to why the alien invasion happens because these if aliens want flash to be gone they mess up their stuff because of flashpoint now they don't get rid of Barry Allen. Obviously, the heroes are mad, but also want to protect him and whatnot. Especially Cisco. He lost his brother. Tells look at that. He changed his son to a daughter. All the many changes and whatnot. The whole Martin Stein daughter. Everything. Every change comes out on Barry and his fault for creating Flashpoint, creating Savitar, all this. And within the you know these moments, we get cool moments of get them getting Kara, them facing Kara, which is a funny scene. There's you see Mick just like sitting down and just shooting fire. Cause he's giving up one thing i don't like is that message from barry from like 2060 something that like never comes back that's dumb never like that that was a segment legends never really liked that and then that end scene that you know shot of everyone in there and everyone flying down them fighting all the aliens supergirl with flash tapping each alien with a device it's that superman record getting her own portal is this just hey i think this is the end barry and oliver drinking with the beer them talking about their fights and whatnot and that's how the crossover ends it's really good and this is number three number two is oh, this is hard between number one and two but i think i'm gonna go with crisis crisis on infinite mainly because it was a very fan service cameo s crossover they obviously chose cameos over the whole like everything else because a lot of money put into like these cameos they couldn't do both because of the budget that they have so you had to choose cameos or what we did in crisis on earth x which is crazy now i do get if you hate this crossover you don't think it's as good i do get it it doesn't feel satisfying but it feels satisfying but it doesn't feel like it doesn't have the push that it has like earth x does it's kind of hard is that i really like all these cameos i really like the story but while i was watching that live i just didn't like it had the to it you know it didn't have the yes moment well it did but like it just didn't have that thing i don't know those are really good it's so cool i got all the cameos the story makes kind of sense our main monitor has like, like a plan but it fails and the anti-monitor looks cool over dying and coming back was dumb i will admit i guess that was in order to have him become specter i wanted this to be like everyone is here but they couldn't do that because they did that like two years ago and from what i've heard all the actors were pretty tired they wanted to avoid that they had you know plus that's why they had cameos all these other actors coming back to reprise their roles i get it, if you don't like it it's like a fan service fan thing but for me personally as for me watching all these shows i loved every bit of it ended with the creation of earth prime which is now you know the earth prime so it did what it needed to do i didn't mind it i loved it mostly everything about it i think it needed to be a fire parts but hey whatever more content i guess i had some issues with it like so here's the, the whole flash thing i get that people are frustrated with that however when you dangle that message that board thing for, with audiences who like watch the flash you can get it if they're like hey so you just baited us out with 90s flash which i get but if you thought that bear was gonna go out in crisis i don't know what you're thinking they're gonna find somewhere to be allowed that so i don't know what to say to that but i do get it if you're pissed off being like yeah they showed that message for the like the longest time they never fulfilled it so i get prices on infinite errors is at number two but number one my favorite crossover error over cw verse whatever crossover is crash they had everyone in it they were a double games of our main heroes like everything about this there was a big fight in every episode which is why most of the actors were pretty tired as fuck because it was like a cool fight scene cool like big action piece in every like, episode which they didn't do for crisis because they wanted to avoid that honestly i mean they pull all punches for this like, 2017 crossover the wing fight at the first the second part the storage and the star labs fight the huge fight not huge but it's still a big fight the third one being what's the third one? Oh, being in the nazi world earth x and then the fourth one the whole lineup that was awesome fighting for martin stein who does pass away i think the actor wanted to be out either way so why not just kill him in the crossover and then have that effects that be on legends i just man that final fight scene we have wave riders we have supergirls aliens fighting we have two archers we have two flashes beatsers the whole adam thing and we have curtis fighting everyone is here like it's awesome we have frost flying vixen and zari up in the spaceship everyone's here it's amazing it is cock block about the whole wedding thing with oliver felicity cock wedding thing but aside from that this is a fantastic crossover 
crossover and it's still one of the arrow versus slash cw versus best crossover so that's it that's all the crossovers rank again as i said earlier in the video in the beginning of the video i don't know if they're gonna have a crossover because the situation right now because of covid no one knows for sure there's gonna be crossovers so it's gonna be interesting to see if how they're gonna wiggle around it or they just won't have any which is fine because they already have prices so yeah it's gonna be interesting this has been the road so far thank you for watching